What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have the Charles Darwin G-Shock watch collaboration. Let's check it out. Let's go. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have the Charles Darwin G-Shock Foundation Watch Collaboration. This is a pretty cool one. Uh, this actually is a part of a three watch series. There's a uh, GWB 5600 CD-182. All these are GWB 5600 CDs. Um, the first one is a 182 uh, model color variation. So that's a uh, black and blue. The second one is a 183, which is a black and green. And lastly is a 9, which is a yellow color variation. So there's three colorways. All of them are GWB 5600s. And they each retail for $170. They all have positive displays. And they are nature-themed patterned um, faces on the actual watch. So here, this one here, we have the Dash 9. I didn't want to go with and buy all three of them. I specifically wanted the yellow one, um, which is actually my favorite of the series. Um, but just in case you wanted it, I'm showing you all three of them. This is the yellow one. It's got the uh, tur turtles, the turtle on the side of the box there. And this is actually designed after that particular um, animal. Um, and I'll talk about that momentarily why. Here's the model number, GWB. 5600 is the module or the model number. CD for Charles Darwin. 9 is the color code for yellow in the G-Shock world. 3540 is the module or the inner components, the computer, whatever you want to call it, for the watch. GW means that it is a solar and atomic watch. B stands for Bluetooth. So this is a solar atomic Bluetooth technology watch, which is pretty cool. On the side of the box, it says uh, something in Spanish. And it says, Apoyo la conservación de cada... Galapagos. So I do um, love. <laughs> I'm just gonna say anything about love. <laughs> they... <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. I crack myself up. They are supporting the uh, conserv con um, conservation for Galapagos Island. So that's exactly what this is. It's a cool um, foundation. I didn't even know about this foundation. So it's cool that G Shock actually brings awareness and markets the campaign for these different foundations. And this one in particular, the Charles Darwin Foundation focuses on the protection of the uh, Galapagos um, Islands, uh, Galapagos Islands there near Ecuador. Um, and it's 127 islands. I learned something every day. I didn't know about this. I did a little research. I didn't know this offhand, okay? Just, just I may seem smart, may sound smart on YouTube, <laughs> <laughs> I challenge everyone to, to uh, reconsider that. So 127 islands and Charles Darwin Foundation actually protects and brings awareness to those species and animals on those islands. And in case you didn't know what Dar who Darwin is, that I didn't know. Darwin is the uh, world-renowned English naturalist, geologist, and biologist um, who actually is mostly known for his contributions to the evolution and natural selection um, of, of, of just species in general. Hi, I'm Charles Darwin. I love G-Shocks. Please buy my watch and support my foundation. Thanks, Chavo. So let's now look at this watch. I did all that babbling and stuff, but the watch itself comes in this eco-friendly box, which is, eh, it's cool. I like the design of it, right? But still cardboard, and I think that they did that on, on, on purpose to protect and conserve um, the environment. So here you have G-Shock, that's pretty cool, that's neat. Comes in this eco-friendly box there, which you can see is like almost like styrofoam and it's um, recyclable material. Again, Apoyo La Conservación de Galapagos. So um, that's not printed on there. I don't think I've seen this designed box, which is pretty neat. And it comes in this little potato sack, I wanna call it. And printed on there you have Looks like a turtle, right? Or an alien, I don't know. And it says, Foundation Charles Darwin, Galapagos. Pretty neat. Here is the watch itself. All right, take this off right there. And look at that beautiful yellow colorway. Tough solar, like I said, Bluetooth technology, 
And this is a GM, so it should be multiband six, unless it's just Bluetooth, I'm not sure. Tough solar printed on there. And that's like an orange maybe or red colorway on the yellow band. Okay, and then you have the blank or colorless protection and G-Shock prints it on the face of the bezel. Stainless steel buttons on this with stainless steel screws, you can see there. Very nice, very nice touch. Um, I like that. I would have been cool, I think, um, if maybe blacked out buttons. I don't know, just to give it a compliment to screen. And speaking of the screen, we focus on there. This one, like I said, this one is the Turtles. Um, you have a picture of the, tur the turtle there, and then you have like a pattern around the dial there. Um, very, very nice. And it's got a positive display, very clean. See power save mode is on. It's got the day of the week and the date window on the front right corner, followed by the time, which is formatted in um, 12 hour format, but you can also change that to 24 hour format. Let me push the button here, go to some of the modes. You have world time, alarm function, stopwatch, timer, and back to your home time. So this is, again, does have Bluetooth technology, beautiful yellow, which I think is very nice. And then on the band, you have printed Apoyo La Conservación de Galápagos, all right? Which we explain what that means. And then um, on the band keeper, you have a beautiful little turtle right there, which is cut out. That's a new touch. I don't think I've seen that before on the band keepers or throughout any other watches on the back plate you have the 3540 module gwb 5600 which is the base model for this collaboration stainless steel back made in china it is um light i don't know why it says light there receiving which is probably the bluetooth or the multiband six all right pretty cool and then you have the turtle printed on there as well this is a screw back no i'm not as sorry this is a screw back plate not a screw back which is a little bit different um standard pins there or um to hold the band together which is fine with me not a big deal so give you a heads up yellow colorway in terms of g-shocks are easily easily stained so be careful when you wear these particular color watches they will stain and it's matte yellow so the matte yellow will pick up all that dirt and all that debris in it trust me you won't be able to clean it and I don't think they'll be able to replace the bands on these. They won't be replacing bands because this is a collaboration. So you might have to send it out to Casio to see if they would replace it for you. All right. In terms of the display, positive display. And let me show you guys the backlight, which is pretty cool. If you ask me, uh, this one here. There we go. We have the beautiful turtle on the back plate, on the uh, backlight. Which is nicely legible. It does not interfere with the timekeeping. And it does have that light, which is kind of fades in and out, which is very clean, very subtle, very pretty. All right, so the other three models, like I said, there's three models to this watch um, series. The first one is the um, 1A2, and the 1A2 is a black and blue and has the hammerhead theme, which is uh, portrayed on the dial and the backlight. The second one is uh, Green Finch. So it has the green colorway, black and green, and does have the finch on a dial and backlight. And lastly, this one here, the yellow one, which has the turtle on both the screen and the backlight. So there's a one there, and then you saw it on the backlight and also featured on the back plate of the watch right there. Very, very nice G-Shock collaboration series. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Till next time, this is Chicago. Holla at your boy, I'm out of here. Hopefully you partake in this um selection see what i did there of g-shock watches you won't regret it beautiful collaboration beautiful series great concept and great reason for the foundation to next time i'm out of here peace